Soyuz 4 and 5 dock in Earth orbit. Two cosmonauts leave Soyuz 5 and spacewalk over to Soyuz 4. The two spacecraft are connected for four and a half hours, and the missions complete the first docking of two-man spacecraft and the first two-man spacewalk in history. But during re-entry, the lone cosmonaut in Soyuz 5, Boris Volinov, is almost killed when the service module fails to separate from the descent module. Normally, the two modules would separate and the heat shield on the bottom of the descent module would protect the spacecraft as it plunged through the atmosphere. But as the atmosphere slammed into the Soyuz 5 during re-entry, the spacecraft flipped around so that the more aerodynamic top of the descent module started taking the brunt of the airstream. Since the spacecraft was now upside down, Volinov's body was being pulled against his harness instead of being pushed back into his padded seat. The hatch bulged inward because of the head-on force of air upon it, and its rubber ceiling began to smolder. Suddenly, the stress causes the service module to break away, and the descent module flips around to its proper alignment. Volinov had escaped incineration, but the addition of the service module had caused the capsule to veer 2,000 kilometers off course. The parachute had not been destroyed, but the soft landing rockets failed to fire, and the spacecraft hits the ground much harder than normal. Volinov is thrown from his seat across the cabin, breaking several of his teeth. He had landed in a snowy area of Russia, where it was minus 40 degrees outside. The cosmonaut ends up having to hike to a nearby village, where rescuers finally locate him.